So yesterday I posted this video to YouTube talking about one of many tools that I'm currently working on. And this one right here is called Smart Animator. It's a text tool for After Effects. It speeds up the workflow, allows you to animate text quickly. And uh, the response been great. You guys left some amazing feedback and sounds like from the comments that I'm reading here, sounds like you, you guys wanna see the ability to save some kind of presets, you know, if you create certain text animation, you want to be able to save that. So definitely a good option. I love that. And uh, and the ability to have bounce and overshoot. That's definitely something I'll consider. And the reason why I didn't add that at first, because when you do bounce and overshoot uh, expression, like in, the, in text, it slows down your system pretty heavily, especially if you have more text, if you have a lot of text, it just, it's just something that, uh, it takes a lot of power, like it, it lags a lot. And I, when I was creating this tool, I was mainly thinking of something to use in like Mogurts. And so I try to think of something that's not as, I guess, not as laggy as uh, balance and overshoot, but I'll definitely work this in eventually. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen now, but it sounds like that's the theme of what you guys want. As you can see, save presets and balance and overshoot. So yeah, I'm listening. I'll definitely add that in. So again, thank you for your feedback. Some of you reached out via like Facebook. I've talked to a lot of you guys. And also some of you wrote me an email. And one guy in particular, whose name is Artum, he's an amazing UI uh, artist. He sent me this diagram of what it could look like. This is what it looked like yesterday. And this is what it's gonna look like today. So I took him on, I'm, I, I found this extremely useful. So Artum, if you're watching this, and thank you so much, this is, like, it shocked me. I never get emails like this to where like actually show me what can be possible. And, you know, I work by myself a lot and uh, having someone else's input like this is extremely useful. So thank you so much, man. This was really helpful. So yeah, I, I do love this. Before you could see we had these buttons that are kind of complicated. Well, it's just kind of confusing, uh, I'll be honest. So yeah, I, I agree with you, Artyom, it is confusing and this makes more sense. So I'll have to work. Basically, I took his idea and I injected it into a current version of Smart Rect, or not Smart Rect, Smart Animator. Smart Animator, yeah. I keep thinking of another tool we have. So Smart Animator. And so let me show you what it looks like right now. And we are in After Effects. This is what it looks like. Let me minimize myself down here. And this is what it looks like now. As you can see, very similar to what Artyom had. And let me delete this. I was just playing with it earlier. So now, as you can see, the same concept, you can access all the properties like this. You can change all that stuff. The only thing that you see different, you, you, we have different buttons now. We have buttons up here and down here. So hopefully it's making more sense. So right here, these buttons are what I call global buttons. If you wanna reset all of these properties, you would do it in here. So we have reset button like this, for example. Let's say scale, let's move on scale like that. And let's go to rotation. We can again, move around rotation and let's do easing, do something like that. You get the idea. So we've moved quite a, you know, we've, we've altered the easing and let's do blur too. And what if you wanted to reset everything to zero? Now we have local ones, so you can reset just blur right here in. You can reset it like this, out, like that. However, it doesn't reset scale. So that's why we have global reset. So we have global in reset, so in, global, boom. It will reset everything that we've touched, like rotation is reset. And then we have reset global for out as well. So that's very useful. You don't have to toggle any other buttons. That's what you, that's what you have to do before, but now you don't have to do that. Then we also have this pull button. Essentially it's, I think I, I called it copy, but it's pull. Let's say if you have uh, animation, let me reset everything. Let's create some kind of animation real quick. So something like 300 by negative 300 on X. Maybe we can go to opacity zero and zero. Let's go to what else? Blur maybe. And we're gonna set it to 100 and uh, let's do easing. We're gonna do something like 85 and maybe 100, 100 and 85. That's good. We're gonna select the text, apply. And now it's going to apply in to the in of our layer, in point of our layer and out to the out. So all the properties we've changed is gonna do it in here. But not only that, I mean, it also creates an effect in here that you can 
alter and adjust, for example, position, you can see here it is. So it's it's kind of doing both. And the reason why I want to have both the effect because you can use it in something like Mogurts and it's very helpful. So now we created this animation right here. So you can alter it individually here or you can just select one or if you have many, you can select many and keep adjusting it in here. Once you hit apply, it will adjust it. So that's very useful. So we have something like this, but let's say I have this right here and I'm going to reset everything. So everything is back to zero. And I opened up, let's say, like an old After Effects project. And if I have this smart animator applied to this text, I can basically copy the in and the out settings and inject them back into this script. And that's what these icons are for. They're essentially like a pool uh, icon. So you can pull from selected layer. So you can do it locally like this or globally. So if I wanted to pull the, let's say easing, right, from this animation, let's say I like the easing, I can just select this and pull easing only for in and the same thing for out. Now it didn't do anything for position because we only did lo locally. But I can say, let's pull from this selected globally all of the properties so we can do in and out and now you can see it does that so then you can do that and select other layers and apply it again and it's super helpful and if you don't like this you can just delete it and you're starting at the beginning so that's what it, we or that's what i kind of coded in today it's the end of the day today so that's where i'm at at the end of the day probably need some more gaps right in here i try to keep it to where it doesn't go all of that stuff doesn't go past this so for easing you can see it's it's almost there. So I try to be, anyway, but it's kind of close. So I also added these buttons right here. Some of you might've noticed it, but these two are super handy. So let's say you, you made some changes and you need to do the same thing on this side. So instead of copying and stuff, you can just say, hey, from here, you're gonna go boom to that, which is helpful. And then you can put minus for a quick edit if you wanna reverse that. And then if you wanna go from here, let's say you made some more changes and you wanted to go the other way, boom, like that. I mean, it works for all of them, duration. You can do that, you can do that for any of these. Boom, it goes to that. So yeah, it's very helpful and uh, especially for easing and yeah. So these buttons, these right here and those and some of the changes in here is what I did today. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it uh, it does require a lot of coding and uh, especially I also added some stuff with like uh, arrow keys. So if here's something else I added. If you want to, if you type anything that's not a number, it will automatically reset it to zero. If you use arrow keys like up and down, it will go up and down by 10. If you hold control, it's gonna do it by decimals. Alt will do it by single digit. Shift will be by 100 and each one has like separate uh, settings so opacity well which one is it? i think anchor i kept it at one if you go up and down it just does one no ten maybe not anyway let's see maybe this one's my one no it's ten too <laughs> but so i'm still working on some of them but for the most part this is what i'm gonna leave it at and uh, again if you guys have any other feedback any anything you'd like to see uh, definitely let me know i i find your comments extremely useful and uh it's I enjoy the journey more than the final results. So it's really awesome to be able to reach out to you guys and having that conversation to me is exciting. Uh, I get to know a lot of you guys because of that. I mean, I'm, I now know our team. I know a lot of you guys and um, some of you volunteered to test these, which is super awesome. I want to thank you for that. And so, yeah, for today, this is the end of day. This is where I'm at. And tomorrow I will probably show you another tool that I'm working on. So I'll work the whole day and uh, I'll post the video at the end of the day just to kind of show you where I'm at. And hopefully we'll have all of these tools out shortly. But in the meantime, you know how that goes. It's just, there's always something you can add in and uh, I just have to learn to say no and call it done. Or what is it someone said? We don't, oh, I think it was Pixar, something like we don't finish movies, we release them. I should probably take that approach with these scripts as well. So I want to thank you guys again for all the feedback. You guys are super awesome. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also make sure you join our mentoring group on Facebook. It's totally free. We have some giants of this industry. That group is so helpful. I mean, that's where I meet a lot of you guys is in, in that group because I like the vibe of that group. It's a, it's a group that you go, it's a mentoring group. So you go there to learn something or to help somebody. So 
it's a great vibe. You should definitely join. It's totally free. Uh, go to ukramedia.com slash community. I'll include the link at the bottom of this video. But in the meantime, I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.